Canines for Warriors' mission is to match service dogs to veterans with PTSD and other kinds of trauma. Canines and people empowering these warriors to return to civilian life. Here are their stories. When I first started in the puppy program, we probably had about 10 puppies um, at various ages and stages, and now we've expanded it. We have almost 50 puppies in the program now. When we evaluate a puppy, we look for a confident puppy. We look for a puppy that is friendly and wants to interact with a human. Puppy raisers take those puppies and make them a member of their family. The hardest thing for puppy raisers, and even myself, is to remember is this is a service dog. This is not a pet. It's, it's tough to give them back, but they're saving lives, and that's what really hits the puppy raiser. Look at what my dog's gonna do. I was in the Army for 10 years. On April 5th, 2005, was the first time my squad was hit with an IED. It was a pretty horrific event. Uh, being the only medic on a squad, it was my responsibility to take people that were injured. There were three Iraqi civilians that were just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and they had severe wounds. One of them was fatal. And that, that experience had a really tough impact on me. It, it definitely takes its toll on you. When you live like that every single day, it's hard to turn it off when you come home. When I came home, I self-medicated through alcohol. I felt uh, all these, you know, flashbacks, panic attacks, different things. And then I came here to Florida and got paired up with my service dog, Captain. And it's something that's worked pretty, pretty well for me, to say the least. To think that he could have been killed in a shelter is heartbreaking to me. And, and now he lives a wonderful life. And he's got a pretty amazing personality. He's funny, like he, he's a funny guy. Before I got captain, I relied on my wife to do pretty much everything that involved going outside the house. Uh, prisoner in my own home is the way I put it. Now captain gives me that freedom back. My kids mean the world to me, they really do. So to be present and in the moment, to be a dad, right? It's it's why I came to this program. It was my last hope and now uh, three and a half years later to see the way my kids look at me and Captain, it's I'll never be able to thank Canines enough for that because it really it means the world to me. It really does. And if I get the opportunity to help just one more person, one more dog, then it's all worth it to me. And to know that we're gonna do it, you know, 100 times that, is just, a, it really is a dream come true for me. Still to come on Top Dog, which pup washes out of the program? And who makes it to canine graduation? 